Hello and good morning and welcome to the first episode of Kirk in the Cloud. I'm Kirk Ryan. I'm a principal technologist and I work specifically in cloud technologies. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask those in the uh, comments down below. We will be interacting with any of the questions that you bring. And please don't forget to like or subscribe, hit that button, and I'll have more of these coming in future. So it's not just the Kirk Show today. With me, I have a very special guest. I have the product manager of Azure NetApp Files, Mr. Gert Tom Van Tillingen. Hi, hi Gert. <laughs> hey, Kirk, it's been a while. How are you doing? <laughs> it's been ages. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we had done video updates in the past, and I think the last one was actually in March. So uh, yeah, yeah, I think we, we have some ground to cover, Kirk, and uh, you know, you know, let's let's kick it off. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah, I think it's safe to assume that there have been some changes since uh, March, so we'll certainly go through all of those. But I think let's start right at the beginning and probably go through, you know, just a very brief, what, what is ANF? For anyone that's watching, doesn't know what ANF is, um, what is it? Yeah, well, ANF obviously uh, is the uh, short for Azure Net of Files. Uh, Whoever is working with Microsoft for a while is very privy to the to the fact that Microsoft tends to use three letter acronyms quite a bit. So Azure NetApp Files quickly made it to ANF. Um, Azure NetApp Files is effectively NetApp's technology in Azure as an Azure Native service, right? So uh, Microsoft uh, has decided to, to work with us to build uh, an enterprise NAS storage solution. Uh, built on ONTAP uh, technology in their own data centers uh, and, and uh, branded as Azure Native File. So it's not a marketplace. It's a, it's a full Azure Native service supported, built with and, uh, and, and, and managed and sold by Microsoft. Um, however, it is uh, providing these typical NetApp technology capabilities uh, to, to the market. And it's basically built around three main pillars. It's, it's an enterprise NAS storage service for enterprise workloads. Uh, that require low latency performance, uh, high availability, reliability, as well as enterprise data management. So, right, these are the, the three main pillars that Azure Data Files is, is built upon, right? So, uh, and, and with that, we do see, well, quite some uptake uh, of, uh, of this service in Azure since its uh, inception. Uh, it's in GA now for about two years. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it's really um, it's really hot uh, hot solution. So it's, it's safe to say that those are the things that most companies are after, right? When they're looking at building something, you want to make sure your data is always there sort of thing. You want to make sure it's fast. Um, you don't want customers hanging around and anything like that. So it sounds like a no-brainer, really, when it comes to uh, to doing shared files. Um, and yeah, I mean, to, to bring people up to date. So like I say, the last one we did was March, right? So so there's been so many things. Let's just na na name a few. Uh, I can get an end to it. Yeah, well, I mean, so so for e for ease of uh, let's say consumption, we actually decided to create a, a what's new page on the Azure Native Files documentation area. So docs.microsoft.com. If you go to the Azure Native Files page, you'll find a what's new uh, page under the overview section, and uh, th that's where we list out all the released features uh, since May. Actually, so after our last uh, uh, update. Uh, we've released about 10, 15 uh, additional features, which range from um, very specific uh, feature settings like root access export policies, the capability to hide a snapshot path, uh, features like uh, dynamic uh, volume service level changes, where you can change volumes from uh, between tiers without any data movement or disruption, uh, dual protocol access, so not only NFS or SMB access, but, uh, but the dual protocol SMB NFS access as well, um, you know, advancements in uh, encryption for AD authentication, LDAP signing the typical, you know, the typical security features that uh, customers need. Uh, a different capacity pool type, which uh, dis disconnects the, uh, let's say, the performance uh, scaling uh, from the capacity scaling. So customers can now actually set performance independent uh, of the size of their volumes. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, just a quick grab of, uh, of, of features that we've been adding since our last update. That's and you know, I would I would invite everyone to just dig into that what's new page and 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 bookmark it right. So uh, what you're really saying is we got replaced by a blog. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, read, reading stuff is obviously less exciting just uh, than having a chat about it. Right? So, uh... But but it's time for us to, uh, to 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 take back 
the the announcements and uh, and, and show the world what we've been up to. So brilliant. Okay. That, that's let's cool. do this and more often let's do this more often <laughs> yeah, we will do this more often so every time you've got some news our promise to you is that we will run one of these to, to run through what those latest updates are and on that note we've got some really interesting updates right so um that's just the work that's gone in now so you know what what have we got top of mind to to talk about um that, that you've got that's recently released exciting and uh helping our, our um our, th those users out in azure yeah, so I think, you know, fr from an Azure Net of Files perspective, I think I'm, we mentioned the three pillars, right? Performance, low latency performance, uh, reliability, and enterprise data management. I think over the last you know, the few years, we've, uh, we've you know, iterated the, the performance aspect and reliability aspects quite a, quite a bit, right? So let's shift a little bit more towards the enterprise data management uh, area because that's where uh, we've, we've, we've done a lot of investments in further building on on what we've done already from the start right so as everybody knows snapshot technology is the core component of the data protection uh strategy uh that we provide with uh with any on tap solution for that matter and therefore with azure native files as well so we built snapshot technology into the service from the start, but we've building out the capabilities over the last uh, few months quite a bit, right? So what I didn't mention uh, in the, let's say, in the what's new announcements just now is the area, the features that we added in the area of data protection, right? So for instance, we have added in May already uh, the capability to uh, uh, allow backup policy users, right? So Customers can then integrate their backup uh, software solutions better by uh, by having access to a backup policy user. Uh, but we've also enabled volume snapshot policies, right? So instead of manually creating them through the portal or through an API, you can actually now set up a policy and apply those policies to your volumes, which will then automatically create those snapshots and uh, keep the retention policies in line, right? So that's one of the areas that we've done some improvements on. But not only that. We've also added uh, features um, around uh, replication. So we've recently announced in September 2020 the uh, public preview of uh, Azure Native Files cross region replication, which builds on top of uh, this snapshot technology. And Leverage is actually Snap Mirror to replicate uh, volumes, including snapshots between Azure Native Files regions for uh, disaster recovery uh, purposes. And we've blended it in with uh, features that were already existing, like uh, snapshot uh, uh, restore to new volume. So not only on the primary, but now also on the secondary or the disaster recovery side, you can actually branch off a snapshot uh, off of a, a data protection volume, for instance, for test and development purposes or for, uh, let's say, disaster recovery testing. And all yeah. of that while your replication continues, right? So without breaking any of your SLAs. So let's so zoom into that. Let, let, let's zoom into that one because that's some uh, story I love to tell as well because I've done this one firsthand, right? So, for anyone listening that heard, heard a few uh, words there uh, for terminologies of how how things move, basically what we're saying here is that this technology is time efficient, cost efficient, um, ensures that you've got a very healthy disaster recovery plan as well, but also complements your whole dev cycle because what's better than you know, in the in the case of I used to work at a, a financial institution before I um, I joined NetApp, um, we used to take the actual DR copies and create um, copies of them instantly, um, and provision our environments instantly. So we yeah. got from a model where we, we had shared envir dev environments it used to take like twelve hours, eighteen hours, in some cases a few days to go and provision, and the impact they had as well. It was like worse than what our production impact was um, on those disks. You're saying we get rid of all of that, you can do it in the cloud, you pay by the hour, and it's all native Azure. Yes, yes. And for example, we have a large customer here in the Netherlands, which is uh, in the banking sector, that uh, leverages the te this technology to not only host their mission critical uh, you know, production environments on Azure Native Files due to the performance requirements they have, but also uh, create up to 15 snapshots per day and clones per day of, off of their multi-terabyte Oracle databases for uh, a variety of use cases, not only for test and development, but also for a variety of audit aspects that they need a uh, you know a, sh a short-term copy of their production environment for uh, and basically created a, a clone 
uh, do their work uh, and clean it up after after the fact, right? So really quickly yep. uh, and very agile uh, in, in terms of uh, how they provide business value that way. That's awesome. Honestly, it's a technology that, you know, it's not like it's reinvented the wheel because it's been proven and value in the industry for, you know, I when did I join that? Nine, over nine years ago. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, um, yeah. the thing it's, is, it's, it's never existed well. in the cloud. Never existed in the cloud, right? Yes. Um, not in a in a model where you could pay by the, the hour for it, certainly. Exactly. Um, so so that's exciting stuff. So let's go on the the into the future, right? So the creating the the snapshots is the easy bit, right? You've got policies and stuff there. For anyone that doesn't know policies, you know, just a way that you can put a, a set a definition on a, a particular volume, say take snapshots here, there, Mondays, Wednesdays, whenever it is, so many times. Um, so make it's like the easy button for that sort of thing. Um, but what's not easy is when it comes to a product name, right? And we have seen so many different wild and wonderful product names. I would actually argue and be a bit contentious by saying Azure NetApp Files is the most confusing name ever because everyone keeps thinking it's a NetApp product. Um, and it's not. So everyone watching, it's not. It is actually Microsoft product. Um, but let's go into the world of other names. I think you've got a big name to share with the group, right? Yeah, so it's a kind of a tongue twister or tongue breaker if you think about it. Once you figure out the, what, what it's short for, then you kind of memorize it real quick. So uh, Microsoft has released a tool uh, to allow for the application consistent snapshot creation uh, for SAP HANA databases on Azure. And that's where uh, the term comes from, AZAC Snap, which is a, a tool available uh, through Microsoft. Uh, which stands for applica Azure Application Consistent Snapshot, right? AZAC Snap. Uh, just you know, say it about five or ten times, well, and well, you know, it will roll off the tongue off really quickly. Yeah, yeah. 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 As as AZAC Snap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. Azure Application Consistent Snapshot tool. That's what it is. Uh, what it stands for. But uh, yeah, it's been released in preview now as well uh, as of um, actually uh, as of last December, so a couple of weeks. Uh, and uh, yeah, we really encourage customers to use that tool because not only does it leverage snapshots, of course, on the uh, Azure Net of Files platform, but it fully integrates into the SAP HANA uh, environment to uh, to manage the application consistency, uh, also database catalog management. Um, it, it, it caters for automatic uh, scheduled as well as ad hoc volume pr data protection. Uh, it allows uh, for streamlined cloning. Um, it supports disaster recovery in conjunction with... Uh, with cross resource replication as well, right? So it's it's kind of a, a full suite for uh, SAP HANA data protection uh, uh, provided by Microsoft and uh, works similarly uh, uh, as it works with uh, HANA large, large instance where uh, where this technology came from. And we've also got a fan as well. So cheers, Matt, for that. He says ANF for the win, obviously. So uh, yeah, good good to see. We see a lot of people using it. We see a lot a lot of. Uh, Great use cases, a lot of success being driven from it. So um, love to hear more about those as well. So ASIC Snap, um, the easy button for application consistent snapshots, right? So um, we'll certainly be looking forward to potentially doing, let's maybe do a deep dive on it um, one day. Hit. And uh, yeah. uh, if anyone, I mean, if I go back to the names as well, if anyone was watching and wondering why the name Tom was in there, uh, obviously, you know, Hit is can be quite difficult to say for someone who's... Uh, He's not Dutch. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, it makes yeah. Kirk, Kirk, it really makes me get my coffees in time at Starbucks whenever I order. So I just say, you know, I'm Tom because here it is just, you know, pointless. Brilliant. <laughs> So there you go. For anyone that was wondering where Tom Van Tillingen came from, uh, that's that's where it came from. So I have no excuse because I've worked with the guy for a long time uh, up until recently. So brilliant. Okay. Um, so where can people go to get get started? Is there a page or something where you can send them to? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, interestingly enough, and uh, maybe you can actually share that uh, with the group. I'll, I'll share the link with you so you can yeah. uh, share it. Uh, so we've recently uh, published a uh, snapshot uh, introduction page. So basically a page about, it describes how Azure Net of Files snapshots work, right? So from the bare, uh, you know, the, the bare uh, low level uh, aspects of block management, uh, but uh, also including uh, features like what we've discussed, uh, a combination with cross region replication, how restores work, what restore options you have. Uh, it also touches uh, the, um, you know, the Azure uh, the file snapshot revert option, which, we, which we've also released now in GA, uh, where you can instantly, uh, you know, roll back your volume back in time. It's basically back to the back to the future of uh, a future to the back. I'm not sure how, how to kind of explain <laughs> yeah. it. Really yeah, there's no going back. 
the time machine. It's the time machine of Snapchat, basically, right? So data protection. Uh, it's it's uh, the time agree. machine, but you get you get one button press. That's it. You can't go back to where you've been from. So just remember that, people, because yeah, obviously you're taking it back to a time, and you can't go back to the future if that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, but real uh, real cool stuff. We're also going to publish a video uh, that further explains this. Uh, you know, in in a in a one and a half minute uh, cut or something. So really really interesting uh, uh, progress. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I think really that, you know, we wanted to keep it short and sweet because we think short, more frequent updates, you know, better for everyone. We're all very busy. We all see a lot of video online these days. So we want to be respectful of your time. So if you liked it, hit like, hit subscribe. We're going to do these more often. We're going to keep you up to date. We're going to tell you everything you need to know so that you don't need to go and read the documents or watch the videos. You can just come watch us. It's miles easier. Um, and, so, more, and, more fun, and more fun too. Less dry. Definitely more fun. It's raw and unfiltered. Um, we do have a question, actually. So uh, 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 another name that maybe we call him Tom as well. So <laughs> Yap, Yap Van, uh, I'm not going to say his surname, Yap. You know, I, Yap I Van Duivenbode is his name. <laughs> oh, no worries. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, so there is no need to uh, to waitlist uh, ASIC Snap. If you go to the Azure Net of Files What's New page, you'll you'll find a link on how to get, a get access to the, the tool. Uh, it will give you a download. Uh, you just obviously need to have your Azure Net of Files subscription enabled for, for use. Uh, but from that moment on, you can uh, go ahead and have fun with ASIC Snap. Awesome. So nice and easy to use. Don't have to uh, go through the access in uh, the, the access list for it. So that's cool. All right. Well, that makes it easy. So um, I'm going to say with that, thanks for being the first guest on Kirk in the Cloud. Um, we always knew that this was going to be enjoyable. And the last time we did this, we probably had about an hour's worth of outtakes. So we're, we're definitely getting better at this. <laughs> let's uh, um, let's let's get in touch again uh, <laughs> shortly. Because there's a lot more. There's a lot more coming down the pipe. Oh, okay, R roadmap. We have yeah, some specific so questions. So uh, I'm sure you you can see that, right? So Matt, uh, good great question. Okay. Response. Yeah, yeah. Ro roadmap is interesting. Obviously, I cannot discuss and disclose roadmap in, in a public forum like this. So get in touch with uh, with us directly, and uh, we'll fill you in on uh, what's coming down the pipe. There's a lot of interesting uh, stuff coming. Uh, so keep uh, <laughs> keep keep uh, keep watching. Stay tuned, and uh, you know, uh, I look forward again to uh, to touch with you, Kirk. We'll we'll make sure that we uh, keep you up to date. So thanks, everyone. I'm glad to have you on board. Join us on your Friday. Hopefully, it was a bit of fun. Some uh, good updates there. Some really useful information. Like always, just hit like, subscribe, share. It all helps this channel grow. And uh, I look forward to being back with you um, at the next one, uh, which uh, hopefully will be very very soon. So speak to you all soon. Thanks very much. Cheers. Later, folks. Bye-bye.